Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the e-trailer bumper mounted cargo carrier for your travel trailers and it's going to be shown on our 2022 Forest River Salem FSX. So this is going to be the 24 by 40 carrier. That 24 is the depth, that's 24 inches, and 40 inches wide. And that's the inside measurement. So the inside rail to inside rail of actual usable space. There's a couple different size options for this carrier, all of them being that 24 inch deep, but varying widths. You can see though with our trailer today, we do have our spare tire on. So if you wanna save the space, this is the one I would go with. And you can see it fits quite well. Obviously, if we stack some things up on the outer edge here, it's going to start getting in the way of our license plate and our brake lights here. But for the most part, if you've got something, maybe just like a generator that you want to use this rack for, you can put it here in the middle, still have those visible off to the side and not have to worry about moving anything. But again, if you don't have the spare tire and you want to maximize your space, you could fit something bigger on here. And as for weight capacity, I did mention you could put a generator up here. That's because it has a 500 pound weight capacity. The steel construction with the black powder coat finish is going to be really strong and durable. It's going to be resistant to rust and corrosion, not immune, but resistant. And again, that steel gives it a really strong weight capacity. Do check the weight ratings of the bumper you're mounting this to because you don't want to exceed that weight capacity. Go by the lowest rated component in your system overall, but that's what the carrier can handle. We also want to check out some measurements to see how it's going to fit on our Forest River Salem. So I'm going to go from the bumper to the outermost point of the rack. That's going to be coming in at 26 inches. So that's 26 inches that we add to the back. Again, if you've got the spare tire back here, you're already adding some space, but this will obviously stick out further. And then ground clearance. Shouldn't have to worry about that. It sits up above the bumper a little bit coming in at 24 inches of clearance at the back end and the lowest point of the back end. Now, if you wanna leave this installed on the bumper, but you don't plan on using it, maybe you're going on a trip that's a little bit shorter and you just don't need the extra cargo space, you don't have to uninstall it and you can actually fold it up to save some space. So coming in towards the bumper, right by where it attaches, we've got some pins and retaining clips that we can pop off relatively easily on both sides. So it's just located by the mounting brackets on both sides. It's a little hard to reach, especially on this inner one here, but overall it's not bad. And if it feels like the pins are getting bound up, just lift on the carrier a little bit. Once it's freed, we can fold it upright and go to the top side of the bumper where we've got these holes right here that we can reinsert our pins into, which will hold the carrier up in this folded state. Again, getting your hands in there is a little tricky, but I also have kind of large hands, but totally doable. It gets pinned in and it doesn't stick out any further than what our spare tire is already sticking out. So that's really great. It does clear with the camper. You can see with our tail light here, we are cutting it very close. If we didn't have this cut out, it would be making contact, but that's a very easy fix. If it did make contact, just shift it over to the left or right, find some room to make it work. And then we can see that down here, we've got our attachment points. Those attachment points are gonna be the brackets and the bolts that run through them. It just slides down over top the bumper and you can pass these bolts through the hole that sits closest to the bumper, bolt it in place, and you get a really strong, solid fit. No shake or play there. And it comes off just as easily by loosening this and just lifting it up. And overall, if you're looking for a way to get some extra cargo space on your camper, this is a great way to do it. You've got the square bumper, so you might as well utilize it for something. This is going to be an expandable carrier, so if it doesn't quite meet your needs yet, and you decide you want to expand it down the line, you can, you're not boxed into just this one size. And then in addition to that, it's going to be really strong, really heavy duty. It's got that folding feature so you can save some space when it's not in use and fold it down flat when you're ready to load it up. I think for your Forest River Salem, it's going to be a really solid option. Just make sure that you're careful with the sizing. And if you've got a spare tire like we do today, this is the size I would recommend. If you don't have the spare tire in place, you can go for one of the bigger ones and get some, some more space. But that's gonna be our look at the 24 by 40 inch option of the e-trailer bumper mounted cargo carrier. Thanks for watching.